Using the Create Surface Array command, you can quickly create a pattern using a profile object that follows along a provided surface. This allows you to quickly create patterns, framework, or other repetitive geometry. You can use many different 2D objects for the base of the array, as well as 3D objects, like NURB surfaces. To use the tool, select your base surface object and select any valid array items. The array items are the objects that will be duplicated on the surface. These can include solids, sweeps, extrudes, meshes, 3D polys, or even 2D objects. With the base surface and array item selected, click Model, Create Surface Array. The Create Surface Array dialog will appear. These options can also be specified in the Object Info Palette after the surface array has been created. Here you can specify the array settings and control how the geometry is duplicated on the surface. You're first prompted to select the base surface. Click the previous or next button until the appropriate surface object is highlighted in red. If you had multiple array items selected, the biggest object is highlighted by default. Once the surface is selected, click OK to create the surface array with default settings. These options can be changed later. With the object now selected in the drawing, look in the Object Info Palette to customize it. The Origin X and Origin Y factor values will offset the array geometry origin from the center of the surface along the X or Y axis. The value must be between negative 1 and 1. To offset the pattern to the right by half of its length, enter 0.5. To offset the pattern down on the Y axis, enter negative 0.5 for the origin Y factor. The entire pattern can be rotated on the surface using the Pattern Rotation field. Repetition mode X and Y determine how the object is repeated on the surface. You can choose to duplicate the array items a certain number of times, or you can choose to enter a fixed distance of the array items in that direction. If you choose number of repetitions, you can then specify the number of times the array items are repeated. The objects are then resized accordingly so they fit on the surface. If you choose fixed distance, you can specify the length of the array object in the X or Y axis. The number of duplicates is then changed so the objects fit on the surface. The offset X and Y factors allow you to easily control the space between the repetitions in both the X and Y axis. The distance from the center of one array item to the center of the next is the factor times the array's size. For example, if your array item is 6 units long and you enter 1.5 for the offset x factor, the distance along the x-axis from the center of one item to the next would be 9. If the offset factor is 1, the items in each row will touch. If the offset factor is negative, the items will overlap each other. The Shift X and Shift Y factor work similarly to the offset factor. However, the Shift factor will control the distance between the center point of the array item to the center point of the array item in the next row or column. The distance here is the factor times the array item's size. This will allow you to shift the rows or columns to give you various results. If the Shift factor is zero, the array items will be aligned. You can also specify how to handle array objects that extend past the boundary of the base surface. Omit will not show these objects at all. Overlap will allow the objects to overlap the edge of the surface, and Trim will trim the objects at the boundary so they do not extend past the edge of the surface. Display Base Surface will toggle on or off the base surface geometry. Scale Z value will scale the array items along the Z axis in the same way they were scaled in the X and Y axis to fit the surface. When this option is deselected, the array items will have the same Z value as the original objects. The Switch Z Direction button will flip the surface array to the opposite side of the base surface. The surface array geometry in the base surface can be modified by selecting the surface array and clicking Modify Edit Surface Array. Choose to edit the base surface or array items in the dialog. Then make any changes to the geometry or attributes that you desire. When you click Exit, the Surface Array will update with the changes. As you can see, the Create Surface Array command will allow you to easily create a variety of complex models, including framed roof structures or other complicated systems.